Now, this is just an update on uh, old Claudia. Y'all remember Claudia shot Dila in the back of the head uh, over some jealousy type BS. So, the mama said she didn't see a friend or family but didn't want to release a name. Uh, I said different because I ain't like how she did it. And so I hunted her ass down and narrowed her down. I knew it was personal. So I knew it had to be somebody real close. And based on what her mama said, social media, yeah, I went and found that. Two months before the police even knew who she was. This is my first case that I saw uh, by myself. So justice for Dolph. And I just threw that in there. Now, what y'all didn't know, this is an update. After she shot Dylan in the back of the head, I don't know if a lot of people knew it, the police pulled her over that same night, soon as she spent the block. That's why they got her car going down. Yeah, they pulled her over for speeding or whatever. You know, she so trying to get away from the crime scene. But with, with all that video showing them thick ass hips, the blonde ass wig, walking like a female, how the police come out? We let her go because we was looking for a dude, a male. That's why I had to do it myself. They with the BS. Okay, well, y'all know she got... Well, I'm going to let y'all watch her get uh, pulled over in uh, Florida. All right? Pulled over in Florida. But then how you going to shoot my girl in the back of the head and take her from her daughter? And then go to the south and got a, 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 a jean jacket and some jeans. But the jean jacket got New York on it. Them sunshades ain't got nothing to do with it. That's the dumbest thing. How you gonna be a killer from New York on the run? And then go to the south with some shades and a jacket that say New York. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. My name True, I just came up uh, with this update. Ain't too much happening in the case, of course, it's too early. She's not speaking, she hasn't opened her mouth, and hasn't made one statement as far as the motive. But then I showed y'all the motive. PPP loans, jealousy, a little dope, and running off with some uh, money. And uh, if y'all haven't seen that, but don't believe that I solved this one, well, I'm going to put the link in the um, description box. Y'all go watch it true like she has to, shit, i'm gonna put it on the screen i love all y'all peace i just had to give y'all update on something that i put my blood sweat and tears into just like though i'll let y'all next time claudia walk straight to walk straight to me with your hands up claudia banton is accused of shooting a woman execution style in brooklyn in August. The crime was captured on surveillance video. U.S. Marshals tracked down Benton and arrested her on Jacksonville's north side last month. Keep your hands up! Guns are drawn, and this body camera shows Claudia Banton getting out of the passenger seat of a car. Claudia, walk straight to me. Walk straight to me with your hands up. Walk straight to me. Keep your hands up. Don't do nothing stupid or I will shoot you. Do you understand? Slowly and calmly, Ben walks over to the officer with her hands up. Keep coming. The officer puts Banton's hands behind her back and wraps handcuffs around her wrists during a traffic stop on North Main Street last month. I spoke Claudia Banton walked calmly out of the 77th precinct and said nothing. Police say the same way she walked calmly back to her car after shooting Delia Johnson point blank in her head. The execution style murder was caught on surveillance video and the motive for the killing is still unclear even to Johnson's family who was inside the courtroom for Banton's arraignment. It's a hard road. It's very hard. I don't know why. After the murder three months ago in Crown Heights, Banton went on the run until detectives tracked her down last week in Florida. PIX11 News obtained this exclusive video of Banton being led through JFK Airport Thursday. She's in shackles, and sources say she hasn't said a word to detectives or showed any remorse. Something Johnson's mother can't believe because her daughter and Banton were once friends. 
you see somebody you had your hand in raising that took your off took my baby. I just don't understand it. Benton is known to police with at least nine prior arrests, including for assault. She's now charged with second degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. In a statement, Brooklyn District Attorney Eric Gonzalez said, this was a cold-blooded execution of a woman who was a beloved mother, daughter, sister, and friend who did not deserve to have her life taken away from her. The defendant has now been apprehended and we will see seek to bring her to justice for this senseless and tragic killing. As far as how Johnson's mother feels now that Banton is behind bars. Better than I felt in a long time. I just gotta keep praying.